on social media everywhere, you see all of these shows and posts about decluttering your house, where you get rid of everything that's not essential for you. I love these shows. The idea is you want to simplify your life. You want to get rid of all the non-essentials so you don't have to worry about them and keep it simple and easy. Well, so what about your gut? Are there things that you are doing that's cluttering everything inside your GI tract to make it a little bit worse for you? Well, in this video, we'll talk exactly about that. We'll discuss what is the actual function of your gut. We'll discuss what happens when you clutter up your gut too much and it becomes unhealthy. We'll discuss the signs of a gut that needs to be decluttered and how our modern diet can make this worse. And at the very end of the video, I'll give you my tips on how you can declutter your gut so you can have the best gut ever. And guys, who doesn't want that? Let's talk about poop. Howdy y'all, Dr. Islam here, AKA your poop guru, trying to give you the best tips and tricks so you can live your best life from the top all the way down to the bottom. If you haven't already, don't forget to smash that like button, like, share, and subscribe so you get more videos like you're watching in today's video. So what exactly is the gut? So the gut is your whole entire GI tract that has nerves, bacteria, hormones, that are essential for everyday living. But what's important for you and everyone is that it's also the central mediator for your immune system. It interacts with all sorts of parts in your body, whether it's your brain, your arms, your heart, and also itself as well. And this is actually one of the biggest immune systems inside your body. One of the more important functions of a healthy gut is to get rid of all the toxins or the foreign substances that are constantly invading your body from everywhere. And so what exactly happens when we have an unhealthy gut? Well, what happens is that all of these systems that the gut normally does, whether it's fighting immunity, regulating hormones, regulating weight, or even regulating mood, get out of whack. Things are completely out of scale when your gut is unhealthy. You feel bad, you feel bloated, maybe you have skin issues, and this could be what happens when the immune system is not working as well as it should. That can lead to the intestinal barrier inside your gut to become leaky or permeable. Normally our gut is lined by just one simple cell to keep things regulated. And for a healthy gut, it does an excellent job of doing that. But when you have an unhealthy gut, these cells become apart, leaking substances into the body, toxins, or things that are not good for you to cause an immune response and to cause your body to become inflamed. And so when you have that gut that's unhealthy, the defense mechanisms that are in place are not working. They're more porous and allows invaders to attack your body, to cause inflammation, and to make you not feel good. So how do you know if your gut needs to be decluttered or there's something else going on. Here are some clues you should be aware of. Number one, if you have digestive issues like bloating, gas, indigestion, diarrhea, or constipation, this could be a sign of a gut that needs to be cleaned. Number two, you're chronically tired or you just have a really bad memory. Number three, you notice you have food allergies or food sensitivities. Number four, maybe you have some mood issues like anxiety or depression. Number five, you could have skin issues like eczema, acne, or other autoimmune skin issues. Number six, picking backing off that, maybe you have an autoimmune disease that you don't have a good explanation of why you have this. Number seven, you have sugar imbalances. Your sugars go out of whack all the time, or you're having pre-diabetes or even diabetes. You have frequent infections, your immunity could be low, or you get sick often. And then lastly, you have unintentional weight changes, where it fluctuates all the time, you can't get consistent weight loss or even weight gain. So when you have these issues going on, this could be a sign that your gut is out of whack and needs to be rebalanced. But not only that, our modern lifestyle contributes to the problems going on inside your GI tract. Number one is that we eat a low fiber, high sugar, highly processed foods. These foods that we eat when we're going out to eat have all these ingredients that are not good for you that contribute to the decluttering of your gut. It makes the bad guys so happy and they multiply and it suppresses the good guys so you don't have a good mechanism to fight that. Number two is that we drink too much alcohol. Alcohol is a direct toxin to your body, but it also causes a lot of pro-inflammatory conditions to occur. Number three is that we take way too many over-the-counter medications, whether it's non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, the overuse of antibiotics, steroids or hormones, this affects the gut microbiome and affects the balance that we're trying to achieve. 
Then lastly, stress. Oh yeah, absolutely. Stress will completely alter your gut microbiome and make things more difficult for you to be rebalanced. So what are steps that you can do today to declutter your gut? Well, just like your house, you can do a quick clean and a deep clean. Let's talk about both. So for a quick clean, number one is that you can reduce or eliminate processed white foods from your diet. Things like white flour and white sugar. And for some people, you may want to consider reducing milk or creams because you could have some dairy issues as well. Number two, eliminate or reduce ultra processed foods. Listen, if you can't tell that it was food to begin with, it may not be the best thing to eat. And number three, eat more fruits and vegetables. This acts as the backbone for gut health. It improves your gut microbiome and it's effective both prebiotics and probiotics to your diet. So number two, if you want a deep clean, this will give you good long-term effects. Number one, shop the grocery store perimeter for leaner meats, good vegetables, good fruits. The perimeter of your grocery store is where the good stuff is. This gives you the excellent prebiotics, probiotics, and fiber that you need. Focus on the perimeter of your grocery store to give you the best food to help improve your gut microbiome. Number two, try acacia or some fruit-filled smoothie bowl instead of grabbing that pizza for a quick snack. Smoothie bowls are fantastic. I love them. It gives you the sweetness of nature with those fruits that you can add things like fiber or chia seeds or even vegetables to your bowl. And then number three, consider adding or eating nutrient-dense foods. Foods like blueberries, cranberries, adding garlic, turmeric, ginger, chia seeds, olive foods, and fish. This is nature's way of giving you what you need for the deep clean to give you the best diet to improve your gut bacteria and get you feeling better. So here's my call to action to you this week. Pick one thing you can do today to declutter your gut. I'm telling you, you'll feel better, you'll get rid of all the excess junk, and your body will thank you. So my question of the day, have you tried to declutter your gut? What has worked, what hasn't worked? What has it been in your experience? Comment down below, I would love to hear what you guys have to say. I wanna thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button, like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like you're watching in today's video. Guys, right, so thank you for watching. Don't forget, let's talk about poop. Thanks, everybody.